Hello? My name's John. I'm a dancer. I'm going to start that again, sorry. <laughs> Hello? My name's John. I'm a mover. <laughs> if I had a pound for every time somebody said to me, I don't dance. I can't dance. I probably wouldn't be moving here in front of you today. <laughs> I'd be on a beach, ah, surrounded by palm trees and drinking coconut milk. You get the idea, yeah? <laughs> um, I've had the privilege of working with many different movers throughout my career, from um, families, kids, to young offenders. I've taught in prisons. I've worked with top professionals. I've worked with people that have conditions such as Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, people that are severely disabled and wheelchair bound. But I've never ever had anybody say to me, I don't move. I can't move. I've only ever, ever heard the words, I don't dance. I can't dance. And I just, I don't believe it. Everybody can move and everybody can dance and I'm going to put that to the test. All right? Don't panic. You don't have to move out your chair. All right? And don't worry about it. I'm going to come a little bit forward just so I can see people. Can we have a show of hands if you are one of those people who says, well, I'm not a dancer, I don't dance. Somebody said it to me this morning. So, yeah, you can put your hand up right away. <laughs> so, thank you for the house lights. Yeah, so a little show of hands. Don't be frightened. Put them, put them high up. If you don't dance or you don't dance, or let's... Uh, good. This might be, might be easier than I thought it was going to be, actually. Let's have a show of hands of those who think they're a bit of a John Travolta, Olivia Newton-John, they're like YMCA. Put, you, put your hands in the air. Again, don't be shy. I'm not going to ask you to do anything out of the ordinary. Good. Brilliant. Okay. So we have a bit of a mixed, mixed room. Um, where you are now, I'd like to do something really quickly. I'd like you just to wave your right hand for me. So you're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then on fours. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then one, 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 one. Brilliant. You're all dancers. Yeah? <laughs> all right? Just proved it. We're going to do that again. We're going to do that to some music. Yeah? All right? Because I'm treating this like my living room, I've got my music set up over here. So, hopefully this will work. Yes, we are living the dream, people. Okay, so I wasn't good at maths at school, so I only reached eight. So I'll count five, six, seven, eight, we're going to start. Ready? You do twos twice, by the way. People don't let me down, just go for it, yeah? Ready? Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, good, three, four, good, five, six, seven, and again, one, two, three, four, and one, two, twos, one, two, one, two, again, one, two, one, and one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, brilliant, good, 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 all right, if we do, can I just see the audience a little bit, we've got some house lights, a little bit, we're going to do it again, and I want you to just recognise how it makes you feel, yeah, so not just the physical action of it, but how it makes you feel inside, yeah, ready, six, seven, go, one, two, Yes, I can see you all now. Seven, eight, and one, two, good. And one, two, three, four, check. One, two, three, on two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you are now all dancers. Full stop the end, yeah? You are dancers. You have just learned some choreography. We set it to counts. I played some music. You all just danced, okay? Now, it's not just about moving. And we all know that movement is good. Exercise is good for you, yeah? All right? 
But just recently, I had the privilege of working with a 93-year-old lady, dancing with a 93-year-old lady. She lives on her own, her stairs are like that, and she's absolutely phenomenal. She taught me a Catherine Waltz, and I'd never done a Catherine Waltz before. So I was treading on her toes, and she was very patient, and she was like, oh, get closer. I don't know whether she was just like, get, get closer. <laughs> don't know what that was about, but, you know. She was great. She's absolutely fantastic. But the reason why I think she's so mobile and she's so young mentally is because of her love of dance and because of her love of movement, all right? And she goes out dancing every other night, literally. And she's a true inspiration. But I've just recently started working, doing sessions with dance and Parkinson's. So, and Parkinson's is in a horrendous condition. But I had a chap come to me very early on in the session, and he said, I'm not a dancer, I don't dance. Yeah. So I said, well, that's all right, you don't, don't worry about it, it's going to be fine, we're, we're just going to have some fun. He said, but the reason why I mean, my wife does dance, and she loves dancing. And I just want to dance with her once before the Parkinson's really gets a grip. And I was quite moved by that. And I was also quite honored that you know, we was able to provide this class for these people to kind of come and, uh, and learn. And now these guys come regular, and they're flying. And we use all kinds of different dance, from salsa to African dance, to get these guys mobile and get them moving. All right. Um, now, I'm not a scientist, um, clearly. Um, but I, I have first ex first-hand experience of, of knowing a little bit about dealing with a condition and, and how dance can lift you out of a, a kind of a dark place. Because in 2008, I was diagnosed with epilepsy. I wasn't always going to be a dancer. I was going to be a rugby player. And I'm the least supple dancer you will meet. That's my maximum stretch. Uh, that's about the maximum. I mean, some of the dancers I work with are crazy. You know, it's ridiculous. It makes my eyes water. But I'm kind of proof that you don't have to be super supple to be an amazing dancer. But also that if you do, if you are faced with something like epilepsy, and I, it's controlled by medication, but the side effects of the medication are aching limbs, legs, and now memory, so remembering steps and stuff like this, it's a real nightmare. But even in, in those kind of dark times, I just need to dance to make me feel happy, make me feel kind of good. Um, and I genuinely, genuinely believe that this is what we're offering when we do the Dancing with Parkinson sessions and when I'm working with people with Alzheimer's. And, and basically, you know, if you think you are not a dancer, you are a dancer because you're a mover, yeah? And we all move. So it's just the word dance, really. But I want to try... I want to try one more thing with you, a little piece of choreography. But the other thing is, as well, is... is what's interesting me, I'm a father, I've got two kids. And seeing them grow up, I mean, my son's 18 now, but seeing, seeing the kid, my kids grow up is that we have an innate thing to move as children. You know, even before they can say the word dance or even understand what dance is, they'll bob. You put a beat on, you play a beat, and they'll just move. They just do it. And we kind of teach it out, culturally. I mean, you know, I've, I've taught in Africa, I've been to the Middle East, I've done all kinds of things, and other cultures kind of really embrace it. And we do have a strong cultural connection with dance, like Mirong, Morris dancing, and everything like that, and there's many groups that I work with that do great stuff. But we kind of, it's still, it gets to a point where it, oh, it's girly. Or it's, you know, I, and I get it a lot, like, oh, you're gay. Like, and it doesn't matter, who cares, you know? And luckily, because I was good at rugby, and I had a twin brother, who, by the way, is a builder, and my dad's a builder, I just didn't want to be a builder, that's it. So, <laughs> you, you know, but it becomes uncool, basically, to be, you know, to get into these things. So I kind of try and put a positive slant on it. So... Just to re-emphasize my point, I'm going to do another thing with you guys, and it's called the wash dance. So recently, I, well, in 2013, I got asked to work on the opening ceremony for the Rugby League World Cup, which was amazing for me, because obviously my two things married. And the end of that show, Gareth Thomas scored a try. If anybody doesn't know Gareth Thomas, he's an amazing rugby player. He scored a try, and the show finished. The lights came down, the music stopped. 
And they brought that show back for the England-New Zealand game at Wembley. And they asked me to put an England strip on and score a try at Wembley to finish that show. I was like, yes. <laughs> it's, it was amazing. And I've got friends now that are still playing rugby and getting battered every week. And they'll never score a try at Wembley. And I've, I've been there and done it <laughs> through dancing. Yeah. All right, so this is called the wash dance. I was asked quickly to do a warm-up, and I was kind of on the spot. And I, the, the, I taught this with 750 people doing it, so I'm no, no concerns about you guys picking it up, especially because on these, what, you was giving it some <laughs> smile in a way. I loved it. Right. While we do this, I, w I want you to kind of also tune into how it makes you feel as well. Yeah? So we're going to wash our face for four counts. We go face, two, three, four. Then you wash your hands. Hands, two, three, four. Then one arm, arm two, arm two, and teeth, two, three, four. Brilliant, look great. You look cleaner already, to be fair, yeah? All right, so you got, ready? Face, two, three, four, and hands, two, three, four, and arm two, arm two, and teeth, two. Then you wash your knee, knee two, other knee, knee two. The last thing, you go, hair, 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 yeah? Don't elbow anybody. But when you do your hair, you can literally go, get, get a bit, I feel a bit Madonna in this microphone, yeah? But get a bit, you know, you can let, let things go a little bit and have some fun with it, yeah? All right? One more practice, and then we're going to do it with some music. You ready? Five, six, seven, eight. And this. And hands. And arms. And arms. And teeth. Looking good, people. And knee, 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 over knee. Knee, 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 and hair. Woo! Hair, <laughs> yes, great stuff. We're going to do it with some music, people, yeah? All right? All right. Just to prove my point as well, that we all have this in an innate thing to move in us, whether we like it or not. Some need a couple of pints, yeah? Some just move, all right? Um, I'm not going to count you in, so I'm not going to say five, six, seven, eight. This track has a, it has a really strong beat rhythm that goes da 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 and then we're going to start, yeah? All right? And remember, the first thing is the first. Uh, do not worry. Jump back on this, man. Do not worry if you go wrong, yeah? Stick a smile on your face and just recognise how it makes you feel, basically. Ready? Oh, we are looking it up, people. It's lunch in a minute. We'll get something to eat. Ready? Listening for... Da -da -da. Yes! Hand! Ow! Ow! Tee! Knee! 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 Hey! Go again! Go again! Go go! 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 Hand. I'm coming I don't need to say anything else, guys. Yeah, if you are a mover, in my opinion, you're a dancer. If you're a dancer, you're a mover. They're both clearly married. If you're a boxer, you are a mover. If you're a rugby player, you're a mover. And if you're a dancer, it, it's all connected. And thank you very much for your time. And thank you very much for moving with me and for me as I took a seat there. Well done. Thank you. Yeah.